Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you what to do once you receive your um, junk journal digital kits. Okay, I'm on the Artemis design team pro um, design team, and this is my design team project. But I wanted to show you what to do when you get the kit. I see a lot of questions on some of the Facebook groups, and I just wanted to address those questions in a, in a bit more of a practical video. So I really hope this helps, especially if somebody's never used a digital kit. I think digital kits are wonderful, especially Artemis's digital kits. Um, she does it in exactly my style, vintage, shabby chic, and there's lots of different elements. When you use a digital kit, the creator or the designer takes all of that, the um and ah in that you have around, does this match, does this match, and they do all of the hard work for you really. You're just left down to the creative bits, adding the niceties, embellishing, decorating, and, and actually assembling your junk journal. I find the finished items are superb with the Artemis digital kits. So this is her store. Um, the link to her store will be the, in the description box below this video, so be sure to check it out. But what I'm going to do is show you what to do and how to print your junk journal digital kits. Also, stay tuned to my channel because I am going to be doing um, some top tips for printing your digital kits. For example, how to double side, how to sew onto your kits and also how to print onto tea or coffee stained paper. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. This one's a little bit more basic on what to do when you actually get your kit. Okay, so you'll receive an email from Artemis. Um, this one's actually just I've I've sent it to myself because Andrea sends it to me on Facebook being in her design team Depending on what kit or how many kits you bought will dictate how many attachments you receive. Okay How Andrea does it is she usually sends it as a zip file basically what a zip file is it, It's almost a compressed file. It's like having a corset on Files for these images are quite large files and it will take up a lot of memory, clog up your inbox as well as hers to send you these kits. So what she does is she puts it into a zip file which almost compresses it as if it was a corset holding all of these files in place. And what you need to do is you need to take off the corset so you can access the files. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Depending on how many... Um, how many kits you've bought will depend on how many attachments there are. She sent me the full kit, so what I will do is I'll go through and I'll show you everything that's in the kit. I'm using Chrome, so what you need to do is hover over the attachment and select that button that says download. So, depending on how fast your internet depends on how quickly is actually going to download, but you know, impatient me, I like to cl click it twice just to make sure. You'll see it here in the bottom corner that it's downloading, you'll see it going round and you'll also see a, um, a little progress bar. bar. And this is actually the files that are now inside of the zip file. And what you need to do is extract them. So click extract there. And what it's going to do, it's going to extract them to this destination. And I don't want it to extract it to downloads because there's lots of junk that goes into your downloaded file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file inside my pictures. okay? And I have a folder of craft stuff and I also have a folder of Artemis stuff. So what I'll do is you can set up a similar system or just save it in a, in a craft folder on your computer. But I make a new folder. Oh, I don't want it there. So that one's not going to go inside my Artemis's thing. So I want it to go there. Yep. And I'm going to call it Nature because that's the name of the kit that I'm using. Yep. So you can see now that it's going to pictures forward slash craft Artemis and to new folder. And you press OK and it will extract it all for you. So then you can just shut that off and just repeat the same for however many folders you have. Again, it'll just be the same thing. It brings up the actual kit and you're going to extract it and choose the destination. Craft, Artemis and Nature. And just press OK and it will extract it. And then you can just close that. And then what you can even do is you can delete this email afterwards. It doesn't need to be in your inbox anymore because you'll have them saved on your computer. 
So this one's got quite a few in, so you can see. You can also see the size of the um, the files. They, they're quite large files because they're such good quality files. Just press OK. There we go. So that's all of that extracted. Like I say, you can go ahead and delete that. What I'm going to do is just go to my pictures now. Oh, little Facebook notification. So Artemis, and there it is just there. Let me make this big for you. Nature. So just double click into that fi file. I think there should be a few more than that. Uh, oh, there's some in new folder, that's why. So what I'll do is I just um, I'll just copy them over or cut them over just so I can show you all of the kit. Okay, so this is the first time that I'm seeing the kit as well. So let me see if I can make these a little bigger for you. Extra large icons. So what I'll do is I'll just click through just quickly so you can see the type of variety of items that you get in um, Artemis's kits okay I'll just do it quickly when it loads again like I say it depends on how good your computer is as you can see mine's bogged down with a lot of craft stuff let's go away so these are envelopes and journaling cards journaling cards booklets journaling cards and you can use these for absolutely whatever you wish to tags jars pockets corner spots bookmarks tickets this is brilliant i'm going to be showing you how to print these individually in my next video so if you just want tickets you don't want the tabs or the banners um, i'll show you how to how to do that stay tuned to my videos background papers like i say she's going to have coordinated all of this for you and taken the hassle out of doing everything and what an absolutely gorgeous kit it is okay so i think that's come to the end of it so what i'll do now then is um so now you've got the junk journal kit what you need to do now is you need to get printing okay i like to start with printing my background papers so that i can actually start making the signatures depends on how you're going to do it watch my next video for how to print on two tea and coffee stained paper I find that by far the easiest depending on the size of your junk journal depends on what size you're going to print it but all I do is I click on the image that I want so let's say I want that and I want to print it on on A4 paper because my signatures are going to be what's that A5 all I do is I right click and I press print as simple as that and it comes up with the little printing wizard and all you do is you say that you want to print it full page if you tick this box here fit photo to frame it just means it's going to stretch it as big as it possibly can to a4 don't get me wrong it doesn't go totally edge to edge because the printer can't do that it's going to leave a couple mil either side but just as an example if you take it off it makes it smaller so if you are trying to make your journal full size a5 you can do that print it full page if you're not you're doing a smaller journal and I actually used this size for when I printed a mini junk journal you can do that so you can just select the size that you actually want if you just want to print it out to see how it looks you could do it on something like this select them all and you'd have all of these would be lines of little little mini ones but what I, I most tend to use is that first one that full page if you're yeah I'll come on to that in a moment I just select it as plain paper because what you can do is you can print on glossy paper but that's not quite appropriate for junk journals I leave my quality there as normal because if you're using best it's going to put a lot of ink onto the paper you'll find that you'll end up using a lot more ink and then all I literally do is is I just press print and it will print it out on a4 paper and you can do as as you want to okay the only thing i would say is um you can't tea stain after printing because when you tea stain paper you're obviously going to submerge it into water if you're using an inkjet printer and you submerge it into water it's just going to run all of the colors will blur and um, fade so 
tea stain first and I'll show you how to do that in my next video and all you would do is you just print everything that you want okay so let's say for example you want these journaling cards so you again you press print but you probably don't want them what what's that going to turn out to be it's going to be a quarter of an A4 page you might not actually want them to be that small so what you might want to do is you might want to select print them half page so they're going to be much more smaller then they're only going to be a couple of inches then aren't they but then you've got all of this empty space here so there's two things that you could do you could press that you want to print two copies and that does that so all it does is it duplicates the one to the next you can press print as long as you're happy of having two of each image that's perfectly fine you can go ahead and do that means you get them into a more realistic size of exactly what you want the alternative thing that you could do is you could select multiple images so let's go with the one that I just selected and let's say for example you want this one with the animals on so you want to have a variety now to select two images you have to use a shortcut on your your printer on your keyboard sorry and all you're going to do is press control and that's on the left hand bottom corner of your keyboard so what you do is you press the one you want and then you press control and you're holding it down whilst you're selecting the next one okay so now you've got two icons two two that are blue okay so we without selecting anywhere else click on either of those two blue images right click and press print okay what you're going to see now is if you go to one that's going to display two on a page you're going to get two on a page now so you can do them both you can scale them all down and you can print two per page okay so that's what I tend to do if I'm printing my kits and the journaling cards you don't tend to want them too big it's nice to have a variety in there because don't forget Artemis does these tickets as well let me show you the tickets they're also going to print quite big you might want them to be quite small so you might press that you want two copies per page and you can do that don't forget forget you can print on card you can print on paper you can even print on tissue paper check out the link to that in the description box that's one of my previous videos that I did um, great for Mod Podge and decoupaging you can print on almost anything lots of videos on there and it's just really try it if you're confident with your printer as long as you're not putting any paper in that in there that's teared it's probably not going to cause too much of a problem you should be able to gently pull it out even if it gets jammed now I know a lot of you might be asking questions about my printer I have a HP so a Hewlett Packard and it's called a HP NV 5640 the only reason I picked a HP printer is because they've got good quality but they do an instant ink so it's like a subscription pack you pay monthly and they send you ink when you're low great if you're going to do lots of these um, kits try one of Artemis's kits if it's something that you really get into you find your junk journals come together a lot quicker have a look at um, any ink schemes that your printer might do okay so I'm going to leave it there with you this is again Artemis's store have a look on it check her out she's a brilliant um, designer she also has a YouTube channel so I'll leave that in the description bar below as well I hope this really helped you don't forget to subscribe and keep your eye on my channel for the next top tips on using a digital kit for your junk journal thank you guys bye